Many administrators who are working on Windows 2003 Active Directory domains often ask me how they can better control the password policy. So whether users are required to change their passwords or when they create new user accounts, how can they control what those parameters are? Well, let's take a look. When I click on the Start button and I click on Administrator's Tools and I bring up my Active Directory users and computers. When I bring this up, let's go see what happens when we try to reset a user's password. So I'm going to right click on Linus here. I'm going to say reset his password and I'm going to try a password. Oh, admin pw. All lowercase, all characters. A-D-M-I-N pw. A-D-M-I-N pw. And then I click OK. The system tells me he doesn't meet the password complexity requirements. Check the minimum password link, the password complexity, and the password history requirements. Hmm. So how do I actually know what those are? Well, up in the root of your Active Directory, you right-click on your domain and select Properties, and then go to Group Policy. You'll find the default domain policy. This is where the default password requirements are defined. So I want to select on this, click Edit, and then I want to select under Computer Configuration, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Account Policy, Password Policy. And here's the rules we're currently operating under. Enforce password history, it's remembering the last 24. It's remembering a maximum password age, or the maximum password age is 42 days, so the users have to change it that often. Their minimum is one day, so they can't change it and then immediately change it again. Uh, the minimum length is seven characters, and the passwords must be the complexity requirements. Don't ever think about touching this one unless you have a real particular scenario. You, there's no reason you'd ever want your password stored in a reversible encryption because then somebody could hack in there and reverse them back to the original passwords. So, well, the ones we worry about are these five here. Now, let's go ahead and discuss this password must meet the complexity. Now, if I double click on it and open it up, we see here that the security settings determine whether passwords meet the requirements. It cannot contain the user's account name or parts of the user's full name that exceed two consecutive characters. It must be at least six characters in length, but we see here actually seven for us. It must have characters from three of the following four. Uppercase, lowercase, digits, and non-alphabetical characters. So exclamations, dollar signs, spaces, number signs, etc. Now we see that it's enabled on domain controllers it's not enabled on standalone servers. Well, actually, if we look at the way this policy works, this policy is set on all computers that are members of this Active Directory. Because it's in the default domain, the default domain, or sorry, part of the default domain policy, it applies to all computers underneath. Now, a lot of administrators try to go and build a password policy for a specific set of users. Unfortunately, you can't do that because if we look, the password policy is a computer policy. And so the domain controller, which in our case is in this container here, Win 2003 DC, is following this rules for all of their user accounts. If we try and go build a policy here, it would need to be a policy under user configuration and Microsoft doesn't have one built into Windows. It's a computer password utility configuration behind the scenes. So once you change the policy, that applies to everybody on the domain. Because remember, you'd really only be used as strong as your weakest link. So if you let certain people have weak passwords, well, you've let sort of every, you know, that's your weak link. But let's go ahead and change our policy here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off this complexity requirements. So I'm going to hit disable, click OK, and then I'm going to close this policy. And I'm going to go force a refresh. So I'm going to hit run, CMD, do GP update. And that'll force this machine to go get a updated group policy. All right, so let's go try and reset Linus's password again. Let's make it. Presto. I was just allowed to set Linus's password to admin PW. It met seven characters, A D M I N P W. And since I had turned off the complexity, I didn't have to uh, have it have uppercase or characters. 
not the best security setting for your organization, but if you take other measures, then you know you take measures appropriate for your organization, you may find that acceptable. Now, what if you do want to do varying levels of passwords where you can have, you know, the people in the user accounts have one password and you want to have users in a different container have a different password and your administrators have other passwords? Well, I have to tell you, Microsoft does not include that functionality built into Windows. You need to go for a third party utility. Now, what's the name of a third party utility? Well, I've got a great one out there. And here, let's go check out their site, www.passfiltpro.com. P-A-S-S-F-I-L-T pro.com. I happen to know the guy who wrote this code. He wrote it, or writes this code. He began writing it back in the NT4 days because people in the NT4 days had a problem. So he's been around for quite a while. And what Passfilt Pro does is lets you go through and override. Because here's that policy we were just looking at, the minimum length. He'll allow you to go through and do password control against the dictionary. You can have the multiple password policies, so your IT administrators can have different policies than your uh, users. And maybe you could have, I don't know, an executive group where they can choose weak passwords, but you can make them have really long passwords. So they don't have to be complex passwords. They just have to be long phrases and things like that. And so... It, He'll allow you to do that using this product. So the team over at Passfilt Pro and Altus Network Solutions gets set up if you're looking for some way to get the more granular control you want. In fact, tell them Grant sent you, and who knows? They might charge you more or they might give you a discount. All right. So hopefully you found this password discussion useful.